And that little touch of moonlight was Miss Jan Robb. Ladies and gentlemen, Jan. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm thrilled and delighted. For now, it's time to present my special guest. A man you all know. A man you all know. The guy that we've been waiting, waiting to laugh at and laugh with. A guy whose business is comedy, laughter, fun, hilarity, humor, mirth, chuckling, smiling. Mr. Gloom Chaser himself, my special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Jerry Lewis. Summer kisses, the sunburned hand. I used to think when you introduce somebody, you would leave the stage. What are you standing? What are you standing? What are you and why are you standing? Did you ever get nobody lined your heart at this to do it? I thought I gave you a very fine introduction, Jerry. Oh, it was fine. I'm thrilled to death with goose flesh. Let me explain to you. When you introduce somebody, you say, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Harvey Wemblin, and you run off. <laughs> so we can come on with the poor dogs and doing the tricks with the boys. You don't stand there when they're on. If you introduce a lady, same thing. I'd like to present Laura Lando. And she runs out with a poor foot, a trained leg. You've got to get off. How do you stand there when somebody... I mean, I'm here to, to work, and you're standing like uh, an officer. Well, uh, screws and clean and hiding an officer. <laughs> well, what have you got to say? What have you been doing? I have been singing. <laughs> you have no right to. I have no right to. You have no right to. Well, if I have no right to, who have? Well, Jerry, we have. If I wanted, <laughs> if I wanted to have a singing guest, if I could get uh, uh, um, Mary Martin or uh, Dude Martin or um, uh, Tony Martin. Or You're getting very close, Was it difficult, difficult for you? <laughs> you couldn't say we could get Ted Lewis, Joey Lewis, Blair Booth Lewis? <laughs> Jerry, they don't happen to be singers either. They don't happen to be singers either. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> they gave you your own show, and now you're shooting off a big mouth. <laughs> they don't happen to be singers either? That's right. Well, I got a big flash for you. I don't need this heartache with aggravation and abuse. I came out to sing a song here. You're standing like a plain public person staring with an eyeball in the back of my head. <laughs> I got my own show October 18th on NBC, color with a peacock and a bad foot. <laughs> Oh, 
Bong, bong. bong. Tell her with a bird that opens the wing. Ow, 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 ow. Timex, Timex. A watch, a watch, a watch. You've got a smoke, a smoke. But you can't tell the time by a Chesterfield, but you can see it by Timex. <laughs> If I thought I was going to be a... You face me, face me! I haven't worked with a singer in years. Listen to me. <laughs> I could very... Do me a personal. Would you do me a plain personal? Leave the stage Would after you? the show is... Here, wait. Let me finish talking! <laughs> I'll leave and I'll walk out, leave the money in the dressing room, but not in bills and coins. It'll be heavy, but I don't want to take any chances with the way you print the money. <laughs> Let me do what I have to do. Will you do me a play? Let me do what I have to do. Jerry, I, I would be very... Just very... don't sing. Do what I... <laughs> What is it? What are you holding up a hand? <laughs> Howard! Jerry, let me just do what I want, will you let me? Jerry, I would be very more than glad to leave the stage. Leave the stage! It's a plain request. I would if I thought you would do what I hired you for. <laughs> Wake me up when we get to Cleveland. <laughs> hired me for? Right. What you hired me for? Did you call up a service and say, send me a boy, you should come and deliver something? <laughs> what you hired me for? Did I wear a tan, a cap with a head driving? Where do you want to go, Mr. Fishbeck? <laughs> what hire? What hire? What did you hire me for? Give me a yes or a clue. What did you hire me for? I asked Liv, you don't know where we are, do you? <laughs> What did you hire me for? For ad living. <laughs> Good, that was wonderful. Get out. Good. All right. What did you hire Jerry, me for? Jerry, I, I, I wanted you, I wanted you to make what you, you always do. Funny. That's what you yes, want. I wanted you to be what you're a national institution for. Yeah, I'm be a clown. Go to a circuit. <laughs> Maybe sometimes I don't want it. Don't you like to not sing sometimes and go a silly bison? In oh. the contract, does it say? Eddie Fisher has Jerry Lewis, and he must perform. Why <laughs> You don't say that's a contract. I didn't know I have to do one thing. Jerry, there is no such thing as a contract, but I, I think that you should be funny. Oh, you think, oh, 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 oh. How would you like an 8 by 10 glossy photograph of a scar right across your nose? <laughs> Let's ask the man upstairs, the producer, Mr. Zyron. Jerry, be funny. I'm singing. Be funny. I'm singing. May I make a suggestion? Please. Why don't you do a little singing, and then maybe you can inject a little comedy. Wait a minute. I'm going to ask the man that'll tell us what it should be. Mr. Zylet, what do you think? Should we... How, whatever you say is good. We've taken a vote up here, uh, Jerry. We think that you should be funny. If you care to sing a little, be funny doing it. <laughs> You've got a beautiful set of big mouths around <laughs> I'll do it, but I'm doing it on the protest. Go on, you, go you on. You want I should really go? Yeah, I want you should, uh, you, I'm I want talking you like you. Go, yes, it ain't easy. All right, Mr. Beugle. <laughs> <laughs> the falling leaves drip by the window. The autumn leaves of red and gold. I see your lips the summer kisses, the summer <laughs> I used to hold. Since you went away, <laughs> the days go long, and soon I'll hear. Darling, 
Oh, 